Okay, we're in the south basket. We have lifted up the plywood um, floor that was laid on top of the original floor. And what we've learned is that the floor is of two different levels, which we suspected from the irregularity of the plywood. And there is an L-shaped structural member in the floor. And this tells us that, this tells us the original shape of this basket. Uh, the long narrow area here defined by this, what is that, a 2 by 4 or, I can't see it, but anyway, this board. This is the original configuration. This, which lines up with the roof, would have been simply the roof, uh, the roof surface outside the basket. So we now know the original shape, which was a question mark before. We know there was some sort of a structural uh, upright in here. We don't know exactly what it was or what it did. And what it, le it leads to a rather strange place. But uh, that's a clue for us. And over here, this indentation here is where the original spider leg beam terminated. Uh, it continued across the room where it's now missing horizontally and then dropped down vertically to that space in the floor. And it answers this one over here, which is still in place. We've been in the same line. Okay. Okay. We remove parts of the, the vertical members of the spider leg beams that look out to the east. These were added when the basket was enclosed, we think, in the 1930s, we're not sure. The original idea was that you walked up the stairs and there was nothing overhead. Schindler, Schindler simply repeated the design that he had for the north basket of having the beams continue out and down. They were glazed, top and side. Uh, these will come off in just a few minutes.
you grow, but if you compare it to the one in the front, it's a big difference. And of course, this is the one I'm interested in. Well, I want more than that. Okay, I mean, uh, sometimes it's nice when it's pretty, uh, a little more slow. It's a little more character, and it does get out of scale so quickly. I think about a particular tree, uh, you put two trees in the same location, and one will be great, and the other one will be great. That's like the trees by the driveway at home. They always go there. Yeah, that's the thing about the trees. Yeah, I don't know. You look at, uh, two plane trees, and two of anything. This one just looks unhealthy. These are small, it's got a funny color. It's just uh, more of a yellow green, the other is dark green. Or a dark green, a dark green green. Part of the reason is because it's getting reflected heat off that. Well, I'll close one of these. Now, this is the sun. It's not all reflected uh, heat the entire day there, or there's nothing. Very little. This at least seems to have more consistency with the rest of it than, than this does. Exactly. And on the other side, um, what's the thing it's not? 
No complaint. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very tired. I've been doing this now for three days. Hard work. One's muscles have to get used to it again. Have you seen the nursery down there? Or the, the absence, absence of the of nursery? No, I have this stuff with the nails on getting more than 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It looks as though originally this, uh, there was a screen so the light was both ways. And then well, you, you cover it up and this is going to get a lot hotter. The light isn't original. The convention's run out of an extension cord for the bathroom. Oh, I see. I mean, I don't know when the light was put in, but it wasn't there to begin with. It was put in my father's time, though. It was. I, I would think so, because shortly after his death, my mother put this out, and that covered this up. Mm-hmm. What, what out? Well, well, then the, the, there was floor over here when she enlarged this, so she could rent it. Oh. Uh, this floor is original, isn't it? It has to be. Um, there was a false floor which took up this morning. Okay. Well, the false floor would have been put would have been put down shortly, not too long after my father's death. Okay. But this floor that you're on yeah. now is the real thing. Yeah. And then she, this little desk affair, we just took out. That must have been added at yeah. some point. Because probably the whole Catherine that she had done. Yeah, well, this was, this was essentially open here, and there were just uh, a roll, there was a roll down thing out here. Mm -hmm. Bamboo shade or something? Something like that. Yeah. Area. Do you have any idea when the spider leg beans were added? No. Because we have no idea ourselves. We find it's really do validate everything we're doing. There's just almost no question as far as the original intention. It's not a bit shaky. The house is shaky, but... Yeah. What we discovered over there, when you took all the lateral support away, the thing is falling over. If you stand up with a gas meter and look, it is going towards the back of And I'm going to have an engineer look at it. And I'm wanting to take it apart and put it together again using the same wood and using the screws this time, which Peter Schnell says would be the way to go. I guess my parents separated by that pretty far. Then in the 30s, I was here for a while. Separated from my wife, I came back and the two. <laughs> so there have been various periods. Yeah. Actually, I'm pretty much from the 30s on through the through 47. I'll probably get this about 50. And then we'll do it again. Did you um, did you work with your father at all when you're? Um, not really. I did a few little things with him, but uh, yeah, they helped just helped him around the office a little bit. I didn't really get into the art much. Right. right. And, uh, my drawing isn't good, so I didn't help that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's one area where we used to be the opposite. <laughs> he, was, he was good at, he was good at drawing, also very fast apparently. Send him out here. Oh, so he's working for him he back was, in Italy. Uh, he said it was out here, sent out here to supervise uh, Brian Park. Right. And then he decided to stay on. Oh, okay. And was it during that period that he built this? Uh, well, after he decided to stay on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. Presumably he was going to go back to uh, Taliesin after he was done here originally. Right. 
I gather he was in, he was sort of the senior person in the office at, when the Imperial Hotel was being built. There's a little controversy about how much, uh, was, people have been guessing about how much uh, he contributed to that because one of his fortes was structure. And uh, it's thought that he may have designed some of the beams that went into the Imperial Hotel. Hmm. Did he have anything to do with uh, the floating system? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's another point of controversy. Yeah. But, uh, well, this is. I thought that we think this little horizontal thing is here. Well, we think what happened is that the roof would have been rolled down. Yeah. But, as Peter Snow pointed out, there are nail holes. There are occasional nail holes. Uh, and not, and not. the paint seems to stop here, sort of roughly. So you know what it was? It was rolled down and had a, a fascia strip tacked uh, on. That could be. That would explain the, the paucity of nail holes. Mark, don't you remember when you were sleeping here? <laughs> I've already asked him the question. He's not very helpful. <laughs> I wanted a full description of what it was like when he was three. I didn't get it. He did tell me something interesting, though. He said they were right here, yeah. hmm. and the parents slept out here, and he was back here. So in fact, it was two rooms. Is what I tried to say. No, I think I heard that before. In fact, I think that's on the tape of Pauline that she says that there was some kind of a, I thought she said a curtain, but I knew there was a, some kind of a... My impression is sliding doors. Yeah, yes. maybe they were. Of course, you're there. Well, they, they could have taken that hard well before they put this in. Mark, how do you explain this line that's so clear here? It comes to that. What do you think that means? Well, I, suspect, I think it means that this was put on afterwards. That this was the original. First this was put on, this section, and then this was added later. Do you think that it's possible that this, this is the original concept, once again? This is part of the house structure itself. This, this is not connected well, to the... Well, I think the stairway, the stairway indicates that something is going to be... Oh, yeah. This is intended. This is in the structure, yeah. and by the time the superstructure got built, he's already remodeled it, mm -hmm. because you have intruded in his life, and uh, he has Well, I, I suspect this came up. Oh, I didn't mean it that way. Wonderful addition. <laughs> he knows what I'm saying. <laughs> the point is, you are not provided for in the floor. I don't know what I'm saying. You don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. And by the time they get around to building this in, 19, in June 1923, mm -hmm. Well, I, I suspect this went up earlier. You think it did? Yeah. Okay. I, I suspect this was what was reflected by the stairway. And then the, this was the later... This was the... This would have been on the plan, I suspect, because we... To me, there would be a big struggle with the building department. Mm -hmm. but, but this was not planned originally. Right. That would be my guess.
edge across there in the entire camp up in the photograph. But that, well, it doesn't show a hedge on the plant, it shows color. Color, period. So we interpreted color to be marigolds and fancy. <laughs> Depending on whether it's winter or summer. Well, I think I, as I see it, the reason was to keep a, uh, a privacy in that section. Mm -hmm. So we're doing it with this planting here instead of. Well, that is here. very clearly drawn as a hedge. Mm -hmm. it is, it is, and it turns out it should be privet. And this is African boxwood. We have to undo the privet. Okay. I mean, we have to undo the boxwood. To yeah, but except as you planted it there, that's never going to get very strong. Right? You need to step down? Oh, it's going to get cut the feet. Oh, it is? Oh, that there? Well, that I'm going to take out, but yeah. Oh, because I thought you told me this was three feet. When, when we talked about this, some, when you first planted it. Oh, I'm, 50? I'm, I'm, well, I don't know six feet. But I, I haven't worked that out, but a, a hedge <laughs> for privacy is the point. Well, that's what I thought. That's why I couldn't figure out why you're planting three feet. Well, what, what was the average uh, height? Five feet, eight and a half. Five feet, eight and a half. Yes, Don Kalick has yes. researched that. Yes. Uh, the big debate was whether it should be a trimmed hedge or a an untrimmed hedge, and the problem was it's where it meets the burn. That was the question. And if it's a trimmed hedge, it's going to be this sharp vertical this, this angle. And I thought that with a three-form hedge, it would sort of flop over and it wouldn't be such a design problem. That was the debate, not how tall it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Here's in the Russian cartoon. I know. I don't understand that. Here we go. And black and white, too. I mean, all these people Anya, yeah. yeah. No, if you had been here a couple of days ago, or even yesterday, you would have seen a lot of But I have learned those. I have to watch everything that happens. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you Because do. it's just amazing. You say what you want and you walk away. And I am here. What, what? I mean, what's to happen tomorrow and what's to happen Monday and so on? The plan was to get all the sensitive demolition done these three days. Yeah, but like what I'm looking at here, what's, what's staying, what's going in the next few days? The extension to the front is going today. Finally, being skewed out for the east. Okay. Yeah. They're taking the siding off today. In fact, they're doing it right this minute. The vertical members of the siding. Coming out. Just from the vertical property. Once I see what's behind there, and once I see what's behind the closet, I'm going to make a decision based on the key the entire thing for the week. Because Peter is keeping the same thing there today. And I'm wanting to see what's there. I can either tear it down today, or I can think about it for a week. I haven't decided yet. I know which control I can get on the front uh, The floor is coming up in this basket over here today. And there's a couple more vertical extensions that come out. And that's, that'll take the day. And three days is not enough. We don't have any time. And that's with me working and Peter working. We have casual labor in this hall that we're going to pick up. And the idea of getting a truck going to the dump is a farce. So have you seen our trash pile? Mm -hmm. It's like two dumpsters full, two big dumpsters. Well, who, who paid it faster than I've ever seen it pay go Painted the before. ceiling in here? Wait, in, in the, the guest, in yeah. the guest house? Who painted the ceiling? It's not painted now. Well, at, at that point it was painted. Right, this is when you moved in? Mm hmm In the 50s. Well, what happened yeah. to the paint? I don't know. What color was it? A light color or dark color? I think a light color. A light color. Mark, that ceiling is hard, and there's just no, no evidence of paint up there. I have looked at that ceiling very closely. That's the paint of the ceiling. Who would have ever gotten up there taking it off? Yeah, that makes perfect sense because there's certainly no evidence of paint up there now. No. So, so, so it's all like acoustical like tiles, suspended ceilings or something? Uh, probably more like teletext. Really? Hmm. That's a new story. John Metz, talking to bamboo. Yeah. Well, after a while working on these, don't you uh, get a little that way, Amy? Yeah, I like it. 
There's a little red button on. You see something on? Okay. See that that means we're on. Yeah. I just don't see it in here. But the voice is on? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now. Okay. We were talking about the fact that the spider leg beams are structural only on every other one. In other words, this one stops short. We don't know what this piece is here oh, for. Yeah, right. It's doing nothing. It's just nailed on. This one's continuous. This one stops short, and you would stop short. So that was Mark's observation. And then we started talking about the fact that there's plywood in these two panels that looks down into the bathroom, which would have been added later because there's no plywood in the house originally. And Mark speculated that this may have been a window. Uh, the thing that was most interesting to me was over here looking, uh, looking south. Well, I think it's more likely that these two windows actually. Mm -hmm. Uh, but with the gray ones, the the, the uh, plain ones, plain ones, they're the all plain. Yeah. The pl these two, the unpainted plain ones. Those two, because it, these take they sort of sweep around from the side, and then there might have been something solid in the middle. Of it. Yeah. Oh. So either way, but at least this is where a passage. This is where a passageway goes underneath, mm -hmm. and the other two relate to the motor rooms and such. Well, those two relate to the. Uh, the, the, the little nursery space. Yeah. Presumably wasn't there at one point either. Well, presumably, yeah. We aren't, <laughs> we aren't sure about that. No. It's not there on the drawings. Yeah. Uh, and then I pointed out over here, looking at the south, that that would be a logical place to have third story because there is no evidence of any windows that have been there. It's just sitting there. And turn around here. Yeah. I remember looking through them. So there apparently were third stories. How old do you think you were when you remember looking through there? This is probably in the 30s. Oh, in the 30s. The problem I have is look at the slope of that. Yeah, I know. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you ever remember being up here when the Neutras were here? No. Oh, I have a new photograph, Mark, I think you have not seen that Esther gave me, or I'm sure you saw it a long time ago. Quite wonderful. Looking, uh, looking west from down about right over there. It shows this in its original incarnation with little stretched canvas panels that come up to about this height. And it shows the fascia boards on the garage, which are quite wonderful. Those little fins that stop just short of the wall here go all the way back. And the one at the other side, the western side, goes all the way back and picks up the fascia boards over the guest apartment. Well, it's totally, again, it's totally drawing because we didn't know if it was happening or not. Yeah. We figured out a way to get all the plumbing off the roof mm -hmm. by doing without hot water in the bathrooms and buying little uh, instant heater stuff and things. I was supposed to be working on an instant heater now, actually. Oh, well, we've got a catalog down there for one that's $250, and it was very cheap, and uh, this, would couldn't be, this would be less, it, was 20, it goes up to 24 kW. Is that a lot? I have no idea. This is, this is like a uh, 30 to 40 gallon water heater. Really? Yeah. But it takes uh, quite a bit of current to run that to wires. But well, for the amount of water we easier. use, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, it's just. It's not a big deal. It's just a convenience. We, we could do it without hot water in the bathroom. Yeah. This is just it's sort of nice to wash your hands. Mm -hmm. We will not have hot water for the showers, yeah. but the showers are never used. Um, so anyway, all the plumbing is going to come off the roof, plumbing and utilities, uh, electricity. Mm -hmm. And we're going to move the gas meter out behind the shed. And then the gas company will do it. And the reason they'll do it is it's antiquated, and they are replacing all the gas meters with the PVC pipe. So we'll abandon this line. Let it down the drive at PVC, back behind the shed, and that's what they're 
so we'll get rid of that. I know, I know. I belong here. These go. Once these two go, it just quits. Now, this is one of Peter Snell's arguments. Uh, what's the matter? Losing things against you? No, yeah. If Peter had pointed out, they're not sawed off. It's not going to This one appears to have been here. This is the problem. Those are laid that way. It's not being sawed off after the fact. And then at the other end, it becomes a proper lean again. Now, that, that is actually a real mystery. Sawed off in a straight line. Yeah. They were laid that way. Real question. <laughs> the other question is that on the other end, behind the closet, the five legs can't quit. Remember, it should be down there. It's also, it's also sort of curious at this point. Well, see, Catherine, Well, the thing is, actually, these, this roof is going over here, not the usual direction. Usually, the, the roof would be going that way. The beam would be going that way. They would have both about it. They would have been such long pieces of wood. They no, but the thing is, usually there's beams across here, and then they, these would be this way. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see. Every, like this. Yeah. This is the usual pattern. Well, this is as it was designed. This part right here. Yeah. Whether it's consistent or not, this is mm -hmm. as it was designed. The inconsistency is this beam quits. It does not travel through. This is not the same piece of wood. This of course, of course. The more significant the better it gets. This beam should go across, over, and then down. It yeah. doesn't. Right. See, Mark? This beam quits. Yeah. And Peter Snell's argument is that it was never there. Now, to find out, we have to take the closet apart, which he doesn't want to do. And I think, and I just... Deeply attached to the closet. I know it. This is a original uh, window detail. This, this piece here is old. But I think that before the day is out, that closet is going to disappear. Just the first one. Yeah. Oh, it's going to up here. Okay. Always. You would expect them to need some sort of a closet. It would be convenient to have some sort of a closet too. Yes, but if the original, again, original concept, it ends right here. Would you have had this strange little thing, and in fact the horizontal top of the closet is part of that beam there. Yeah. If you take the Every, beam out, you have nothing. Yeah. It's, yeah. And also the fact that the vent from the bathroom comes up the way it does. That's a strange, it's a very strange situation. Yeah. Not this all, sure. Just for fun. That's a, that's a remove and that's a remove save. Mm
I, I knew that was going to be sensational. I don't know how boy I'm like. Right. There were windows through here too. Oh sure, yeah. yeah. I remember look I remember they were doing a movie that well, I was speaking to there. <laughs> what bad movies? I don't know what the movie was, but uh, they were using this set once. They, they were using oh, this room as a set. set. So this, uh, in the seventies when the, the No, this was early. Uh, professional movie? Yeah, I think so. I don't I don't really know what it was about, but I just remember the music and when I was up here looking down. How old do you think you were? Pretty, pretty far back when I was in this room. So before 1928? Yeah. Hmm. That's quite interesting. You never told us that before. You've got to find that one out. You never told us that before. I did. Oh, no, no. A movie in this house in the mm -hmm. 20s would be pretty interesting. Just that room? That's all I remember. Well, we've got to find out about that. <laughs> huh. And you have no idea who in your parents' no. circle But it's a professional movie, like MGM or... You know, this I don't really know either. It wasn't just a loving, hand of, loving hands of home operation. No, they were there for some time and <laughs> redoing things and so forth. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> you gotta get that. You gotta get that. You can add it to our statue of the rare porno flick. <laughs> Number, we can pull it apart, and with your photograph, we want to put it back to camp. All right, you want one, two, three, four, five? I think I've told you about that. No, you no, don't. Well, I don't. Yeah. There was, oh, I guess there was one in Italy or Spain, I think, I, there, there was, or something. This is one I learned about. I've already, they have a very handsome catalog oh. that I've seen, and I've ordered 10 copies, so I'll give you one. Okay. Uh, it's in, it's in uh, German. They, they okay. built model and furniture. Mm. Very elaborate. Well, and it's higher than this point is. <laughs> there are there are intentions moments. Which is very impressive. Oh, okay. And uh we do make That's later. Say you were filming, I'm standing there in his way. Oh, 
Yeah. 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 Okay. Bob, you're right. <laughs> oh, oh, Bob, your answer is. <laughs> Set it right here. Your answer is. There it is. The okay. vertical has been removed. The horizontal is still existing. Yep. Do it. Okay. Take it off. Whole thing. What about the structure? Is it going to hold up? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guys are just question. holding it up. <laughs> It's the architect. Man yeah. wants everything. Wait a minute, hold on. This okay, I see any photographed, right? The, right at that about point. Now. All right, all right. Uh, Jim, you can be uh, taking paper off of it, maybe. That's right. My book, my shot. Oh, your fry bars camera shot? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, right, Talk to me about that. that one. Okay. Is that it? Well, should I take another one? Are you going to do something else? I would take a couple. That's, that's uh, kind of what you think. All right, what is it you like? Uh, the horizontal member of the spider leg beam. Let's make sure that's right. Oh, with the diagonal right. uh, cut. Oh, yeah. All right, I got that. Right. <laughs> 932. Just more. 1032 would be 516. Why don't you go down and walk the file? Beautiful. Five, six days, come on in. I'll hold it up. You can, you can take it off. Oh, we just wiped out Peter's theory, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think your dad would say if he were here, Mark? <laughs> Well, he he of course know what you're buying. So <laughs> 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 you'd be one jump ahead of us. He take all the take all the suspense out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be any fun at all. <laughs> There's paper from later. Paper from later vintage. What what vintage? Paper. Yeah, but paper. what what year do you think it is? 30, 40, 50, 22? No. 27? Awfully good shape, isn't it? Very good shape. It's probably. It's, it's probably. Maybe as late as. Well, 50s to 60s, probably. Hmm. This could have been replaced, too. Uh, yeah, it could have, yeah, because this is probably this paper right. here. Sure. This corner in particular is a very good I'd like to, I don't like okay. it. <laughs> Come on. Do you want me to take any more pictures? Uh, you want to leave? You don't, no, I just we, don't want... I, you know, I, I just came here if you want me to take more pictures. Oh, well, I want uh, to... Why don't you release the horizontal? It's a permanent perch. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to photograph the door on the side. It has a little markings on it, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah? Okay. Why? I know, but you're not going to get rid of it, are you? There's a bomb. I'm going to keep that. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make... Mm -hmm. this, this comes off. Yeah, that comes off, only that's locked in there. Well, we could pull it off if it wasn't the nails in the middle. Looks as though maybe the back has to come off and you can put it the other way. I hope we're not going to lose that piece of glass. That's real stuff. Yeah, you know, I know it is. This makes it look it. as though this is added after that. Yeah, but this is embedded behind right this.
saved? Actually, post World War II. Do you want those boards saved? Pre World War II galvanized nails. All right, yeah, we can get them. Eat? Save them? Yeah. We'll get them off the pile. Yeah. Well, we'll dig them out. Could be the roof leaked at the yeah. side leaked at some point. But these are these are post post World War II galvanized nails because they're uh, uh, single dip. They're electro galvanized. They're not what we call a double dip, which is rough. Uh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. One more board to it. We need to keep this. Yeah. It has part of the letter to it. Dissolve that off with uh, kerosene or otherwise. We, we attempted to separate the, the parts and just lift it. Just the Where is your off. still photographer? He should be here.
Oh. Wait a minute. Hmm? He, he put yeah. it. Hey, Bruce. Uh, stay there, Bob. Stay there. Okay. <laughs> a reenactment. We're going to reenact it. Okay. Bob! Oh, oh. He's there. You ready? Look. Ready, Tony? Go. Okay. Hit it. Oh, look, Bruce. What'd you oh, find? Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Money! I know it is. <laughs> nah, it's only Bob. Don't slide it. It's only oh. Bob. No, don't slide. Great. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. cut perfectly. I love it. Which one stole my glass? Mine's in the middle. Mine's, Mine's to the right. The end. Mine's to the right. Mine was way down there. And I moved them all. I moved them. So you're on the left. The end. Yours is on the left.
Yeah. around the telephone line from your side. Water. Yeah, she's rotted away to nothing. Wow. Okay. There's only two holding it.
because we got a little different situation. Peace, are you?
Yeah. Um, yeah. Dead upstairs. Actually, it's not. It's not very difficult. It's just I mean, everything's automatic. It's just. I mean, you just watch whatever you're climbing. Like it's